At some point in the life of your boat, you may find that you need to completely replace a valve. Today we're going to go over those steps and show you how to do it using a donut patch. This is an easy process if you follow the safety procedures, use the correct equipment, and follow all instructions. Today we are working with NRS's Pinel Orca, a hypalon or rubber type fabric. As such, we'll need the following materials. Clifton Hypalon Glue and Accelerator, Toluene, Mixing Cup and Brush, 180 grit sandpaper, Donut Patch, a valve, Roller Rasp, Scissors, Wet Erase Marker, Rag, and Safety Equipment. It's important when working with any glues or solvents to protect ourselves by using gloves and a respirator, and to also work in a well-ventilated area. Some of these products contain carcinogens and should be treated carefully. These same general principles can be used on other valve replacements. However, you may need to change the type of glue, material, or valve that you're using, depending on what kind of boat you have. We recommend using the C7 Leafield valve. The inner portion protects the rubber gasket, it has a great low profile design, and a great outer protective cap. If your boat is made out of PVC or urethane, you'll want to make your own donut patch. Use the same material as your boat, and pick a glue that's appropriate, such as Clifton's urethane adhesive or Stabond. When making your own patch, remember circular is best, as corners tend to snag and get peeled up. We'll start off by removing the valve. Air the boat up to two pounds and use your valve wrench to break the seal. Once the seal is broken, use your hand to completely remove the valve. Once you've got the top half of your valve unscrewed, you've got the scariest part ahead, cutting into your boat to remove the bottom half. Make two small incisions on either side of the valve hole. The idea here is to make the smallest cuts possible in order to get the old valve portion out and insert the new one. Now mark out the placement of the patch onto the boat using a wet erase marker, marking not only the circumference, but as well the orientation, using three small lines placed across the patch onto the boat. This will ensure that everything lines up when it comes time to apply the patch. Next, prep the surface of the boat and the donut patch by buffing them lightly with sandpaper. Now, clean both surfaces thoroughly with toluene or an appropriate solvent. If you don't have toluene, acetone or alcohol are acceptable alternatives. Now mix the glue with accelerant, following the proper mixing ratio found in the instructions. Paint three coats of glue on both the patch and the boat, waiting 10 to 30 minutes between each coat. You'll want to be very careful not to place any glue on the inside of the boat through the valve hole. You can use wax paper to prevent this. Once the final coat is down, wait 5 to 10 minutes and check for a tacky surface by using the knuckle test. Your knuckle should stick, but come away clean, without leaving any dents in the surface of the glue. Before applying the patch, make one final check that the inner portion of the valve made it into the boat. Apply the patch by gently rolling it down from one side to the other pushing as you go to keep the air bubbles out. Remember to use the three lines that you drew earlier as a placement guide. With the patch down, thoroughly roll it out using a pro roller or roller rasp from at least four different angles. The purpose of rolling is to mesh the glue together and remove any air bubbles. Hand screw in the upper portion of the valve and tighten it with a valve wrench. With the valve and patch in place, you can clean up any extra glue with a rag and toluene. Wait at least 24 hours before you air the chamber up. When you do finally air the boat up, remember to keep your valve wrench handy as you may have to tighten the valve once it's aired up. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any other boat repair questions, you can give us a call or check out some of our other online resources at nrsweb.com.